Right. There's a nice background. Where, where do you want it? Where do you want it? Let's go to the Mourinho one. I think that looks good. Okay, okay. <laughs> Are you doing it? Stop it. It's fine. Okay, okay. All right, that's cool. That's cool. Mario should have told this story about it. He actually got it himself. Did he? I didn't yeah. know. All right, all right. It's fine. It's fine. This is good. Okay. Ed is fine. Just Ed? Sure. All right, cool. Hello everyone from Chelsea Fan TV. My name is Alex. We are in Dubai at the official Chelsea Fan Club in Dubai. I'm here with Ed. Ed, you, you run it. You run the fan club. So yeah. congratulations. We've got a good turnout. It's a little bit empty, but we've been hanging around for a bit. Um, but while the game was on, it was pumping. I was told there was only going to be maybe five people here. It was about 20 people. So nice turnout, considering it's midnight as well. I mean, let, let's talk about the game. What did you think? I'm shocked. Am I, am I dreaming? Someone pinched me. It's, uh, we now know that the Chelsea players know where the goal is, which is, I think, the biggest surprise so far this year. Absolutely. And uh, I think we all predicted Cole Palmer to score. Broya, two great contributions at the start. Yes. Uh, no, he didn't mean it, but uh, yeah, I'm, I'm chuffed. <laughs> I, I can't ask for more. Uh, I was confident we'd win. You know, second leg, Stamford Bridge, come on, it's a special evening. But uh, this convincingly, didn't, didn't think it was possible. Well, having watched the games, and been there in person. I didn't feel confident, but before the game, it came up with our record. You know, we'd, we'd, uh, we've, we've had a good record. We only lost against Middlesbrough out of our last, I think it was five games. Every other game was a win. So even though people have been critical of Pochettino and the way we've played, our form has actually got better. I mean, how do you feel about this whole Pochettino situation? It's an interesting one. Uh, I don't think it's the right time to sack him. He's getting the boys playing. But what he did today, he did the basics right. We had a left back at left back, right? That helps. We, <laughs> we had a centre back at right back. <laughs> <laughs> he scored. <laughs> but at the same moment, our weakness in that Middlesbrough loss was yeah. Kovo was unlucky. Uh, he didn't do such a good job there. He got outpaced. But uh, I'm happy. I think Poch really needs to get the boys playing in their best position. Simple as that. Uh, Mudrik was, uh, was a shame he didn't perform in his favourite position. But uh, yeah, at the end of the day, can't, can't complain with three points. That's the beauty of winning games is that you are able to be brutal. And that is what top teams need to be, brutal. You know, Mourinho would do exactly the same thing. But when you're losing every week, it's very difficult to drop a player and justify it if you go on to lose the game. But when you're 4-0 up at half-time, I mean, I still thought it was quite harsh because it would have been nice for Madrid to get a run of minutes to get his confidence up. But, I mean, he was shocking. Yeah, yeah. The man is technically amazing, but sometimes he just lacks the, the obvious step. He's a pace merchant. Tap the ball down the wing, make a run, use your left foot. You have a good left foot, but he... For some reason, he's not empowered to do that. I, I, I don't get it. It's, uh, it's a frustrating one. Uh, and otherwise, we have Sterling there, and I think uh, all Chelsea fans know how we feel about him. It's uh, very on and off. Yeah. I mean, do you think he should be playing on the left or the right? Sterling? I guess it depends who the other informed midfielder is. If Palmer's going on the right, I think Sterling has to be on the left. If Palmer's in the middle, I don't know what the best options may be. Noni on the right if he's on form. Um, but yeah, Sterling needs to show up more often. That's the one thing I want from him. I don't care where he plays then. Absolutely. I mean, and, and Gallagher as well. I mean, we were, we were having this conversation during the match. My opinion is I, I actually like Gallagher, to be honest with you. But I, what I don't like is Gallagher playing and then forcing Pochettino to play other players out of position. So Pal Palmer is better as a 10. And Chukwemeka is better as a 10. And Sterling is better on the right. So if you're playing Gallagher as a 10 every week, you're forcing Palmer to go on the right and Sterling to go on the left, for example, or Chukwemeka, mm. when these players are better in other positions. So from that logic, if all the other players are fit, would it make sense to sell Gallagher in order to <laughs> not necessarily force Pochettino to play players in the right position, but it seems like he's always the first choice. I mean, I know mm. he didn't start today, um, this is just this is just an idea, really. I, haven't, I don't know if I really believe it, um, but it, we were talking about it, so I just want to know what you think. Yeah, it's a tough one. I, I'm a big Gallagher fan. I yeah. think he, he's Chelsea through and through. You know, he bleeds blue. Uh, but then, of course, the topic of uh, player, the pure profit comes into play, right? So mm -hmm. can we replace him with someone that's better? I, I don't know, but I, I love watching the young guns coming through. Mm. I think at the end of the day, we have to play our best team with players in their right positions, mm. not uh, 
not uh, Colwell on the left back or yeah. if Palmer's best at a 10, let's do it. I think he can get the job done on the right okay. um, if it's needed through injuries, but otherwise play the best players in their best positions. It sounds obvious, but we haven't really done that this year. What about Broha? I mean, there's a lot of talk about him going 50 million, though. It's a lot. I'd take 50 million. <laughs> I'd take 50 million. I mean, <laughs> I like the man. I do, simp I do feel bad that he has had these big injuries. I like his yeah. pace. Sometimes I see a bit of a Diego Costa in there, but at the end of the day, this is Chelsea. We need a proper prolific striker. I felt he's had a good few run of games and he hasn't delivered. So if someone offers 50 million, I think we could do a lot with that. Absolutely. And just, just to finish off, your thoughts going into the cup final. God, that feels oh. good. It feels amazing to be back at Wembley. I think the last final we were at was Champions League, right? And we won Champions it? League? No, was no, that no, the no, last no. Or? Uh, League Cup, uh, no. It was a Kepa blazing over F the park. F FA Cup against Liverpool, no? FA Cup and the League Cup, we lost them with Tuchel, didn't we, on... On penalties against Liverpool. Was oh, that yes. uh, Kepa blazing it over the bar? Te was yeah. it like ten yes. penalties? Oh, that was a painful oh, one. I, <laughs> uh, I left that out of my memory conveniently. <laughs> but yeah, it feels great to be back in a, in a final. This is what Chelsea is about. Come on, we're a team, the most successful team in London. We're always in finals. Most likely, we will win that. Uh, we'd love to beat Liverpool up again. Absolutely. So uh, yeah, bring on. Come on, Wembley. Let's make it happen. Let's go. Thank you very much. Thanks Pleasure. for coming on. Pleasure. Okay. Awesome. Make me look good, please. <laughs>